So the Supreme Court just ruled against race-based affirmative action, which means race will no longer be one of the factors that are used to determine if you're admitted to college or not. So how does this affect us in the medical field? As we know, there are less than 10% of black doctors and most importantly, less than 3% of female black doctors. So I still believe that schools should still try to maintain and have a diverse student body because we all come from different walks of life. We all have different experiences and we can learn from each other based on our experiences. And those experiences we have shape who we are. Even though they're not taking race into consideration anymore, they should still look at other factors such as socioeconomic status that can help them make those decisions and create a diverse student body group because we all benefit from having a diverse student body group because it's a representation of the population. And as a medical student and somebody who wants to become a physician, having a diverse student body group reflects the type of population we're going to treat, you know, and being able to relate to your patient, understand them and provide them with high quality, equitable care is very important and may increase the outcomes of whatever they're going through and increase their healthcare experiences. We should definitely still strive to have a diverse student body group, regardless of race. To help all of us and increase representation in medicine, please, if you're in medical school, make sure you are voicing those opinions and advocating. And also please sit on the admissions committee as well to make sure that diversity is considered when applicants are being admitted to each medical school. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Also, don't forget to follow for more videos. Bye!